Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's Dan here from Sports Cars UK, and in today's video we have episode seven, episode seven of my uh, MGC grading series. Um, so without further ado, I'm sure you know how this works. If you haven't uh, yet seen one of these videos, make sure you check the playlist out in the description, and you can go back and watch all the previous episodes. But generally, if you haven't uh, seen this or you want to know how this works, we send ten cards monthly to MGC um, and then we get them back within the same video, within this exact same video, uh, and then see what grades that we got. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video and let's look at what cards I'm sending off this month to MGC. Okay, so for package, oh, for card, package, for card number one, I've decided to go with uh, this Origins Israel Adesanya card. I picked this up in, or I pack pulled it in my uh, Panini Chronicles opening, which uh, I can put up on screen if you haven't seen that already. Um, and in that video, I pulled one of these cards, uh, which is a particularly nice one. He's the current middleweight champion, um, and I'd like to see that one graded. We picked up a Topps Chrome Machamp. Uh, I'm trying to remember, it's Machoke. Machoke is the one before this. What's the one before that? Um, I can't think. Someone will let me know in the comments. But this is the uh, the Topps Chrome card. Um, I do actually like the Topps Chrome Pokemon set. I know, po I think many of the Pokemon fans aren't a fan of any of the top series. Um, but I like them. I think this is cool. Maybe that's because I'm a sports fan and I, I like a lot of Topps Chrome as it is. But... Yeah, I think this is a pretty cool card. Not in the best condition, but it'd be cool in a, an MGC case. I've gone for a wrestling card this month. I've picked up a, a Ric Flair WCW. Uh, I picked up a bunch of these Ric Flair cards. Um, just decided to pick this one because I thought this was a, a cool shot of the Nature Boy uh, in his gown. It's a 1991. I don't think these are rookies or anywhere close, but still a nice card and uh, excited to see that in an MGC case. We've gone for an F1 card as well, so I've picked up the uh, Lewis Hamilton Topps Chrome. Um, I, I enjoy this card in, in terms of the action shot of, uh, it's not really an action shot, but in terms of the, the photograph of uh, Lewis Hamilton. Um, you can get these in kind of all different sorts of refractors, numbered parallels, but this is just the base version. I've selected a Habib Crown Royale, I think these are, these are called. Again, it's from the Chronicle set, but um, I did well with a sale of the Habib card that I sent off in one of the previous uh, videos. I sent off a Habib uh, season ticket. And I sold that for about, I think, 40 quid, which covered pretty much covered the cost of the entire box, which I was pretty happy with. So I'm going to send off another Habib card, get that graded and see how this one does. See if I can sell that on. Um, Jude Bellingham. The uh, English midfielder that's the kind of the talk about town at the moment. Uh, this is the Topps Living set. Um, I don't own too many cars of Jude Bellingham. I own some sort of, uh, I own the summer signings uh, numbered card, but um, this is one of the cars that I do own. I decided to send this one off. This is the uh, Living set. Had quite a pr high print run, um, but sometimes they are notoriously off centered. So if this comes back as a, a 10, that'd be pretty cool. Um, I've gone for a Haaland. This is from the uh, BVB Brusher Dortmund team set. Uh, this is a particularly nice one. I've got a few of these, maybe three or four of these. But I do like the, um, the sort of the black uh, background with a sort of uh, lightning colored sort of, I would say it's lightning, but it doesn't actually look like lightning. It looks like almost like a silly string of sorts. <laughs> but yeah, this one was uh, one of the ones that I had in better condition. It'd be nice to see that come back as a 10. Um, a man that I think a lot of people counted out but um, is playing very well at the moment, Kai Havertz. Um, he had a, a, a lot of hype uh, before he went to Chelsea from um, it was Leverkusen that he left. Um, but yeah, I, I think this guy is the real deal. I think he's one of the most exciting centre attacking midfielders we've seen. He's clinical in front of goal. Um, and uh, yeah, I do really highly rate him as a player. So this is the uh, Rated Rookie Optic. Now this card, when I first started in sports cards investing and collecting, you could pick up for about 40 quid. And now, you, now these sell for like less than a tenner, which is kind of crazy. But um, yeah, it'd be good to maybe have a Kai Havertz in a parallel one day. 
but I'm not too much of a Chelsea fan, me being a, a Fulham fan. Um, we've also picked up a Ryan Shirky. This is one of his rookie cards. This is one of the cheaper rookie cards that you can get. He does have the tops now, which is quite expensive. But this is the Adrenaline XL. Um, someone actually, I think, gifted me this, or it was in a mystery box. I can't remember which. Um, but I was pretty happy with this. Um, and I'm going to send that off to grading. That'll look cool in an MGC case with the, uh, the blues and the whites. And then finally, a card that's not in the best condition, but it's one for the PC. Um, I'd like to get it slabbed up. Is the... Uh, National Save Kids campaign Nintendo card. So this is um, Zelda or Link from Zelda. Um, and uh, yeah, you can see trading card treats, Nintendo card, Impel Nintendo card from 1991. Um, yeah, I'm just a bit of a gaming geek. So um, yeah, I'd like to see that in a, an MGC case. So there we are. They, those are the cards that I'm gonna be sending off. Um, quite a lot of variety in this particular submission. Um, we've gone for Nintendo cards, a few football cards, UFC, um, F1, wrestling, Pokemon. So again, I do like the varied submissions. Let me know if you're enjoying the type of submissions that I'm doing to MGC. Um, I like having loads of different kind of oddball items in the collection. I like when I'm going to card shows as well to have lots of different cards available to show as well. But there we go. If you did enjoy this uh I was about to say, if you did enjoy this video, the video is not over. I'm going to get these sent off to MGC. I'm a bit all over the place today. It's one of those days. Um, I'm going to be sending this off to MGC, and then um, I will join you when these cards are back in their cases. Thanks very much. Hi, guys. Welcome back. We have our cards back from MGC. Um, I'm just about to open them. As you can see, I've got them all bubble wrapped. Um, I didn't bubble wrap them. MGC did. But before we actually start, uh, MGC have kindly sent me across a Top Trumps card to show uh, you guys what the new Top Trumps cards look like. So here we are. Hi guys, welcome back. We have our cards back from MGC. Um, I'm just about to open them. As you can see, I've got them all bubble wrapped. Um, I didn't bubble wrap them, MGC did. But before we actually start, uh, MGC have kindly sent me across a Top Trumps card to show uh, you guys what the new Top Trumps cards look like. So here we are. Um, as you would have seen, or you may not have seen, but if you have seen the previous episodes of Mail Monday, I did try and send a Top Trumps card to MGC. However, they sent it back to me because they did want to perfect the Top Trumps cards uh, case, and they absolutely have done. This fits in here like a glove. There's no way, I can shake that as much as I want, there's no way that card is going anywhere. Um, so I'm really, really glad that they held off and they were patient in terms of perfecting uh, the slab i think they've done really really well with this um so if you do have any top trumps and you wanted to send them off to mgc um make sure you do i mean these look brilliant as you can see they're slightly bigger than the, the standard card but um yeah just wanted to show you that uh that one off so this is the um as you can see 2003 top trumps world uh, euro football stars sorry zinedine zidane there's a beckham in this set and there's also the ronaldo which is an early ronaldo as well so I've got a couple of those Ronaldos that I probably will send off to MGC. So let's get into the um, cards. Let's uh, let's use this as a little barrier so that we don't reveal what grades that we got. So for card number one, we have the Jude Bellingham living set. Okay, so this is an interesting one. The centering on the back isn't the best. I don't know if we're gonna get a 10 if we're getting graded on the back. So we'll probably predict a nine on this one. If we've got gold on the back, it means we've got a 10. If we've got a silver, it means we've got nine or below. I'm sure you've seen this series before, but if you're new here, hello. Oh, it's a silver, okay. So it's not. we know it's not gonna be a 10. Do we think it's gonna be a, an, it could be an eight, but I think it's in really good condition. I think it's just the centering lets it down. Fingers crossed we get a nine. Oh, there we go, nice. Okay, so we're, I'm, I'm happy with a nine on that one. You can see even on the front, the centering's a little bit off from left to right. I don't mind that at all. I think for someone that's into Jude Bellingham, that's maybe just starting into sports cards, they want a graded card, but they want a, a Jude Bellingham rookie. This is a nice, cheap way into getting into a, a Jude Bellingham rookie, a nice uh, living set in an MGC9. Um, I'll probably have this at the London Card Show and I won't be looking at a lot for this. Um, I may even give this away to a little kid if I see, them, see one. So um, if I see a kid with his dad, dad, this might be, uh, this might be his son's. Give away a nice little thing for uh, for the kids. So this would be a, a little cool one to uh, to send off. Maybe a kid's first graded rookie card. Who knows? 
Right, now for the next card, it looks like we have the Habib. So this is the Habib um, Crown Royale. I pulled this myself out of the Chronicles box. Now these are gonna be very difficult to grade. I'm not actually expecting a 10 on this because you can see these corners here have to be really sharp. 10s are very difficult to get on a die cut. So if I get a nine on this, I'll be happy. But let's hope for that gold anyway. Let's see what we can get. Oh, it's gold. We've actually managed to get a 10 on the Habib die cut Habib. Now I, of all the cards, this one I was probably, actually no, because we did do the, no, because we did do the Nintendo one and that one was battered and I just want that in a case for my own collection. But of all the um, modern cards, this one I was probably expecting a 10 the least on. So very, very happy with that. There we go, an MGC 10 for Habib. Now next up, oh, you didn't see that, did you? we have the match attacks card. The, sorry, the adrenaline card. Now, you may have seen that it was a silver. So we haven't got a silver on the Ryan Cherky. Let's hope it's a nine. It could be, I think there was a little nick on the front of it. I think I don't know. I don't remember if I highlighted that in the, because I ordered these a couple of weeks ago, but don't remember if I highlighted that, like, highlighted that in the first piece of the video, but let's see. Can I get a nine? Oh, okay. So we didn't get the we didn't get the nine. We did get an eight. I think it's this soft corner up at the top that lets it down. I don't know if you can see that, but there we go. Not the best. We got the the ten in the diamond Ryan Shirky. Uh, doesn't have too many cards. His tops now is pretty much the only card I think that he has as the rookie card that um, maybe is in 2020 or predates this, but oh well, eight on the Ryan Shirky. Now we've got the, um, well, I think we can, we know we're not gonna get a 10 on this. So I think, I don't think we need to cover that up. We know we're not gonna get a 10 on the Nintendo Link, probably like a four, cause the front is really, really like, there's loads of edge wear and stuff like that. So like a four, three or four, be happy with. Okay, a five, I'm all right with that. You can see all this, pretty much this whole edge it's got edge wear. Um, the corners aren't the sharpest, but I just really, really wanted this in a case because I love Nintendo, I love the Zelda games, and um, yeah, this is all a bit of me, to be honest with you. I didn't really care what grade. This could have got one, and I wouldn't be bothered. Um, so there we go. We got the Zelda card in a case. That's a success. Now for the next cards. Let's make sure we don't try not to reveal them. Ah, so we have the Harland one. Now, black cards, all black cards with black corners, everything like that are very, very difficult to grade. So they do show up whitening a lot. So I'm hoping we can get like a, if we get a 10, brilliant, but I'm hoping for a nine because I think it was pretty clean. Let's see. Oh, okay, so we didn't get the 10. So let's see if we can get a nine. Hopefully we can get a nine on this. Ooh, nine, okay, decent. I'm happy with that. Obviously, Harlan's now gone to City since actually recording uh, the first video. But um, obviously, Harlan at City now. Not this isn't going to be a big card, of course, but this is um, still an interesting one. An early one of him in his uh, Dortmund gear. This is from the Tops team set, the BBV BVB curated set. So there we go. That's a nice one there of Harland. And then for the second card in this lot of two we have the Israel Adesanya. Now this would be a really, really nice one to get a 10 on. Again, it looked clean. White corners should be fairly easy to grade. Let's see if we can get a 10 on the Israel Adesanya. Oh yes, we got the 10 on the Israel Adesanya. So we're doing well with the UFC cards. Two 10s on the UFC cards. That is a beauty. The Panini Origins, Israel Adesanya, the people's champ. <coughs> Excuse me. Everyone loves this guy. What a nice card that is, bang. So we've got uh, four cards left. And we come on to the Pokemon card. So again, an, an, 
A kind of an early tops, not in the best condition chrome card. I don't think we're expecting a 10. So yeah, we're probably unlikely to, yeah, unlikely to get a 10 on this. Anything higher, I'd be happy with. Like a nine would be really cool. Eight would probably be probably where I'd think it would be. But let's see if we can get a nine. Eight, okay, yeah, so we, I mean, I predicted an eight, that's okay. Um, I'm not too into Pokemon, but, oh, my arms are really, my arms are killing me from doing that. Um, yeah, there we go. Eight, this will go off to a nice Pokemon fan, maybe at the London Card Show. Tops Chrome card, that's pretty cool, isn't it? And then for the next one, again, it's the Ric Flair. I don't think we're going to get a 10 on this, so I don't, yeah, there we go. We're not going to get a 10 on this because it's a very old card from 19, early 90s. What can we get on this? Nine would be very, ha I'd be very happy with a nine, but I'd probably be looking at a seven maybe on this. Eight, okay. Eight's not bad. Um, a card from 1991, a Ric Flair card. Pretty cool. That'll look cool in the case for the uh, the London card show and all the other Cardiff card show if it doesn't sell then. Um, but yeah, very, very nice. Love Ric Flair. Woo! RIP headphone users on that one. Now, for the next two cards, I think we've got the Havertz and the Hamilton left. Let's see what we can get. So the Kai Havertz, let's, I'm actually kind of hoping for a 10 on this. I think I did say I wanted a 10 on this. Oh, no, we got a nine. Well, we didn't get a nine. We, got, we might have got below a nine, but we haven't got a 10. Hope it's a nine. Okay, it's a nine, fine. This card was at one point about 60 quid to buy raw, and then it just absolutely plummeted. But I still think that Kai Havertz is one is one to watch. I think he's a very, very good player. A lot of people just completely gave up on him, but I think maybe he had a little bit of a shaky start. I don't know if you could call it that, but I think this guy is consistent. I think he's quality. I genuinely think he's a really, really good player for Chelsea. But I know he had so much hype before going to Chelsea. Um, but this might be a good one for the World Cup. We'll have to see. And then finally, let's see if we can get a 10 on the final card. We have the Hamilton. Fingers crossed we can get a 10. Oh no, not the 10 on the Hamilton. Maybe a nine? A nine, okay, decent. So we got a nine on the thumbs up. No thumbs up for the 10 on that one, but not too bad. So let's see how we did. Put it down to one side because we didn't actually have that in our order. So we got two tens, I think it was. Was it two tens? We did submit submit some older and a bit more battered cards. So we didn't actually get um, we didn't get too many tens in this particular order. But the Ryan Shirky we knew had a bit of a dink in it. Lewis Hamilton was a bit of a shame. So was the Havertz, but and so uh, the Jude Bellingham we understood definitely nine was maybe a bit uh, kind on that one with the centering, but it all depends on how they grade. Ric Flair, I thought the eight was pretty good. Um, Link is obviously Link, so it was a a bit a pretty battered card. Kellogg's card, I don't think that was going to be kept in a top loader. But the highlights, of course, will be the uh, Israel Adesanya, and where is he? The Habib. So it was it was the UFC cards that came out on top. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know if you did enjoy this submission. Let me know what cards that you like the most that I'm sending off. Um, I do definitely enjoy the variety, so I will think I I think I will keep it to the variety. Um, I don't really want to be sending off an entire football submission because I think I open up enough football cards on Mail Monday and things like that anyway. Um, but um, yeah, really do enjoy the, uh, the 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 variety, and I love this sort of stuff for the PC as well. I've got to get that sent off for the PC. There we are. I hope you are enjoying the series. Um, don't forget to watch the other episodes. If you haven't already, the playlist will be in the link in the description. Um, yeah. Also, I think when this comes out, I think I will actually have the membership uh, program sorted. So if you are interested in becoming a member, I am actually recording this pretty far in advance um, because there is still a second order to come out of uh, MGC, which I have done for the next month. I kind of make sure that they're, I have to kind of do almost two at once so that I can make sure that um, they're coming out monthly. But um, if you do want to join the member, it's only, uh, or become a member of the channel, it's only $1.99. You get to vote on what videos that you want to see. There's a polls, all sorts. Um, there's exclusive videos, early access to videos, um, exclusive content, that sort of thing. So, and you also get a little uh, 
badges next to your name when you con when you uh, when you comment, which is pretty cool as well. But if you don't want to be a member, totally understand. Um, I'm not going to force you to become a member. Um, it's just pretty cool. There's some decent stuff in there if you would like to. Um, if you uh, haven't subscribed, make sure you do subscribe. Um, does really really help out the channel. Really really appreciate it. And if you drop a big like on the video, make sure you share it. Hit that bell icon so that you don't miss a video. And I will see you on the next. MGC episode. Thanks very much.